Welcome to our virtual kindergarten information night. I'm Paul Smart and I have the absolute privilege of being the principal of Scone Grammar School. Thank you for joining us tonight to gain an insight into SGS and especially kindergarten. We've developed our schematic to help everybody understand Scone Grammar School. I want to highlight quickly three things for you that I hope you will see, hear and feel tonight and any time you come and visit Scone Grammar School. Our Christian foundation for positive, flourishing learners serving all. There's a lot in that and I haven't got time to go into it tonight, but I would hope that you feel and see that Christian foundation impacting the lives of young people so they can actually demonstrate fully themselves and their strengths and therefore contribute to life beyond school and in school. Grammar Minds is about our learning. Grammar Minds is a really focused opportunity to help young people be the best learners they can be, independent in their learning. And the dispositions we focus on will enable them to grow significantly to take charge of their learning right through school and life. And Grammar Cares, our wellbeing structures and program is based on strengths. And if we can all engage in our strengths, it will help us really understand who we are and how we contribute to the wider life we are exposed to each and every day. Others are gonna share more of the nitty gritty with you in our presentation. And I'm so thankful for the, con the contribution these people are making tonight from staff and from parents. I hope it helps you gain a greater understanding of Scone Grammar School. I hope you time find this time incredibly valuable. Mr. Damien Saunders, our head of primary, will now say a few words. Thanks very much, Mr. Smart. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us this evening. Uh, what a crazy, crazy year it's been. Um, I can't believe that we've hit a point now where parents are genuinely uh, getting one eye on kindergarten for 2021. Uh, we hope that you find this evening uh, informative. Uh, we hope you find it uh, beneficial. Um, I would like to point out that we do have a question and answer function where if you would like to uh, type in a question that you may have uh, or be keen to find out more about, uh, we encourage you to do that. Um, know that any question that you do type in is kept private, so um, it won't be just there in, in a public forum and uh, we'll endeavour to answer that as best we can uh, at the back end of uh, this evening. And if we can't answer it straight away, then certainly we'll endeavour to follow that up uh, with a phone call or an email uh, and hopefully be able to help you out. Now, I really think that it's such an exciting opportunity uh, that our kindergarten students have here at Scone Grammar. Uh, it's just amazing seeing them walking through those gates at the very start of the year and they're just absolutely, uh, they're tiny. They're absolutely tiny little things with these massive backpacks and they're just walking through, um, eyes wide open, uh, just full of, full of uh, enthusiasm and just full of wonder and just wanting to know everything straight away. Uh, it's pretty special. Uh, and then seeing them at the end of that first day, uh, the end of the first week, the end of the first term, and they're absolutely exhausted. They're completely busted, uh, which tells me that our teachers are doing their job and the students are obviously uh, embracing everything that's going on uh, in and outside the classrooms. So that's something that we we really want our students to do. We want them to get involved in from kindergarten, the many, many opportunities that they uh, have afforded to them. Uh, we want them to embrace everything that we offer them here at Scone Grammar School. We want them to become part of the fabric and become part of the culture that, that we have here at Scone Grammar. And we find that with the assistance of our staff, with the assistance of the year six buddies that they will have, uh, they get every opportunity to be exposed to everything that our school offers. So our big encouragement for, for our parents is to 
to get on board uh, with that as well and and to uh, become part of the fabric here of our school, which is which I think is uh, incredibly special. Uh, I won't talk too much more about that at the moment because I've got uh, a couple of uh, beautiful parents that are going to speak about their experiences uh, with their little ones uh, starting kindergarten this year. So uh, I'd like to hand over now to Mrs. Yvette Ether, who would like to speak to us now about her, her experiences as a first time kindy parent. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Saunders. Good evening. Hi, everyone. My name is Yvette Ether. Our daughter, Sophia, is in kindergarten. I wanted to share my thoughts about, firstly, why we chose Scone Grammar School and secondly, our experience of the school up to this point. Prior to kindergarten, um, Sophia attended the Yellow Cottage Preschool, which is part of the grammar school. And we were so impressed by the dedication, passion of the educators, the facility itself, and Sophia really enjoyed going there. So that helped us in making the decision to choose going grammar school. However, there were other reasons that supported our decision. Firstly, the small class sizes were important to us. Um, so the teacher can give that focused attention to each child. Sophia can be uh, reserved at times. So this was really important uh, priority on our wish list. So she didn't become overwhelmed in a really large class. In addition, they offer play-based learning program in kindergarten and a diverse preschool to year 12 um, curriculum, which was really amazing. Um, Scone Grammar School is a caring community with Christian values. This was important that we were going to choose a school that aligned with our family values and we could see those values in practice each day. They were some of the reasons why we chose Scone Grammar School. Now that Sophia is there, she loves it and she really enjoys going to school. As a family, we are always made to feel really welcome at the school. We feel like we're actually part of a community, not just a school. The kindergarten teachers are so dedicated. They really go above and beyond. The communication from both the school and the teachers is outstanding. And they're very proactive in responding to any questions that we might have and also keeping really open lines of communication with us. They really have done an amazing job at transitioning the children into kindergarten and making it a really fun experience. I guess for us, the real point of difference is that Scone Grammar School nurtures the whole child and really celebrates their different strengths. They focus on all aspects of Sophia's development so she can be confident to just be herself. You know, Sophia is happy, she's thriving, she's learning and making friends. And as a parent, that's really encouraging. Um, so to sum up, I would describe Scone Grammar School as a really caring community. They focus on the development of the whole child and they really display the school values in practice. We're, we're just so pleased we chose Scone Grammar School. It really is an incredibly unique school. Um, I really thank you for your attention and I hope this information has been helpful for you. Um, I will now introduce Aaron Henry, another kindergarten parent, to share his thoughts on Stone Grammar School. Um, thanks, Yvette. Thanks, Yvette. Um, I'm Aaron and we've got two kids at the school. Um, Georgia and Alex. Georgia's in year three and Alex is in kindergarten this year. Um, and we were able to see the, the benefits of the school beforehand with uh, family and friends that were attending the school. So that was a huge advantage for us in, uh, in choosing Scone Grammar for the kids. Um, as first time parents, we were drawn to the, the culture and values encompassed at the school and its caring and um, nurturing nature which made the transition to school a lot easier for the kids in that first year. Um, we were particularly drawn to the smaller class sizes, which you've made comment of as well. Um, our oldest uh, child, Georgia, gets quite anxious at times. And so starting school was a big proposition. And we had to uh, work on ways to make that a bit smoother. Her amazing kindergarten teacher really helped with that. And it didn't always mean wrapping her up or protecting her. It often meant knowing when to, to look after her and when to give her a little push. Um, one example of that was the 
drop off of a morning. We had some tears there in the early weeks uh, and her teacher recommended we put her on the bus, which was a daunting process to, or a daunting thought to put your uh, anxious five-year-old daughter on the bus from Musselbrook and send her off to school three or four weeks into school. But the school has some amazing processes in place that means every child that gets off the bus is looked after. Um, there's a real caring nature with the older kids too, looking after the younger kids on the bus. Um, and it worked. We've got no more tears and a, and a really good morning routine. And, and that's probably something we wouldn't have been comfortable doing ourselves without the, the help of her teacher. Um, so the smaller class sizes certainly allow that attention to detail, which, which we think is really important. Um, our second child, Alex, is a lot more, uh, more laid back. So we feel the um, smaller class sizes are an advantage in that he can probably um, be kept on track a little bit. Um, <laughs> so chalk and cheese between the two, as is often the case. But um, yeah, that's a, a huge advantage there again. Um, the kindergarten orientation process is really, really good. It's fantastic. Um, the buddy system works so well. Um, we heard so much about our buddies. Um, our Alex still has a picture mounted in his bedroom of his buddy um, even today and the countdown was on so the kids are genuinely looking forward to school by the time it starts. Um, I think we did a countdown of 86 days so it was a long countdown um, but we got there and they're, they're so ready to start when the time comes. Um, every teacher we've worked with is so incredibly passionate about the kids they look after and their teaching. Uh, and everyone in their class. I think that was particularly obvious with the recent COVID um, shutdown. As Damien said, it's been a crazy year. The teachers must have been literally working overtime in that lead up because we were still going to school normal time and behind the scenes they were preparing all the online work ready for the imminent shutdown that was to come. So from the first day of homeschooling, um, we had a full list of resources. The teachers were doing videos every day. Um, it was certainly a learning curve for us, but it was made so easy by what the school was providing day to day. Um, we do have a newfound respect for teachers though in our house, so we're very appreciative of that. Um, so my wife and I are, are huge advocates of the school. It's, it's been a fantastic experience for us in the, in the three years now with the two kids there. Um, and, and we couldn't be happier. So thank you. I'll pass you on to Mrs. Jones now. Good evening. My name's Mrs. Julie Jones and I am the kindergarten gold teacher. I have two children at Scone Grammar. My daughter came in 2009 as a five year old ready for school and I came along as well. Um, we were a joint package and then my son is in year seven. Uh, so we've been at Scone Grammar for a long time now and we really love the school. Hi, my name is Jess Southwell and I'm the kindergarten blue teacher and this is my second year on kindergarten. So Julie and I thought we would just give you a small snapshot of um, some of the things that happen in kindergarten and what kindergarten is about. So kindergarten is about settling them into the school environment, making sure that they feel com comfortable and um, but also making sure that socially and academically we are giving them the, the foundations to um, thrive and be successful. And so one way that we really try to engage our students is through um, play based learning or what we like to call it as investigation. And so this is based on the Walker learning method. And this gives a really good opportunity for students to share their interests with us. And then Julie and I create some really purposefully driven play scenarios for them to meet uh, three learning intentions. We've got an academic learning intention. I'm sorry, a literacy academic, literacy, maths and social. So it really gives them a good opportunity to make those connections between what we're learning in the classroom and their interests, um, as well as being able to build their skills socially and to collaborate with others. Um, not forgetting our explicit teaching is also a very important part of learning. Uh, we teach uh, this using um, our explicit teaching in all our key learning areas and it directs our students towards specific learning and is really structured learning. We accompany this with lots and lots of concrete games and materials so that 
even though they think they're playing, we're actually learning in the process. So I teach science and uh, for science, it's all about solving a problem. Um, and so students are designing um, how they might fix that problem. They're planning. They're then trying to create the solution and make it. Um, and that's usually done through collaborative processes. And then they're able to test that and then revise, obviously, um, their product to make sure it's best solving the, um, the problem. So I teach history and geography and we do this as Discovery Day and Discovery Day is all about inquiry and exploration. So it's a lot like our play based learning, except there's a lot more structure around it. So when we're in history or geography, we look at an inquiry based question and we use collaboration and exploration to try and find the answers to the question that we've set. Uh, well-being is also a really important part of our day. Um, it overarches everything we do at Scone Grammar and it's particularly important in kindergarten. Uh, we teach perseverance and resilience, but we also provide support through their early years with our Year 6 buddies and of course as well as us. Um, we look forward to hopefully meeting you all very soon and we're now going to hand you back to Mr Saunders. Thanks very much, Julie and Jess. Uh, two fantastic educators that we have with Kindy this year. Uh, I get to spend a little bit of time with kindergarten uh, with my Christian studies lessons and uh, it's an absolute blast. The kids just have so much fun and they're engaged and they just, they're in such settled routines and it's a lot of that goes down to the hard work uh, that our Kindy teachers do. Now, uh, we have had a couple of questions come through uh, via the uh, Q&A function. Um, predominantly based around class sizes. So at Scone and Grammar, our kindergarten classes are capped at 18 students. Uh, we're expecting two uh, full classes in 2021 with the possibility uh, of a third class. And I guess that's all uh, enrollment dependent. So that's where that's at uh, at the moment. Uh, so what I would encourage you to do if there are any other uh, questions based around enrolments, um, I'll direct you to make contact with our school registrar, Amanda Darling, and uh, she'll be more than happy to, to help you out and answer any, any other questions that you may have uh, about the enrolment process. Uh, I would like to thank you uh, so much for setting time aside this evening uh, to hear a little bit about what we do here at Scone Grammar and, uh, and what we're all about. Um, it's a busy place and I just encourage you to uh, when it's all uh, safe and, and able, come and check out what we do and uh, make an appointment, have a look around. We'd, we'd love to, to show you what we've got here at Scone Grammar School. So thank you very much once again. Uh, we hope you have a, a lovely evening and we hope to uh, be in touch soon. Thanks very much. <laughs>